relationships based on their, uh, their work here and their portfolio development. I've had students that are running their own architectural firms here in the local community and giving back to the community uh, based on some of the community service that they did way back in high school. I've had a, a student just finish a, a really great restaurant in the new Geary building down in LA. Mr. Burke had just a huge impact on me. He gave me at the beginning of last year all the tools that I needed to, um, to pursue my my passion in photography. I mean, I just loved it so much. He made it so much fun. You know, we learned lighting, we were out in the field, and I, I just loved it. And I, di I discovered what I was really good at. So I'm always getting down at their level and working with them on the keyboard. I'm not standing up in the front of a classroom and working. More of a facilitator than I would be the instructor. There's a couple of tricks you can do. You can leave it in grayscale, but I would go up to image mode, change it to straight grayscale to see what's going on. Um, Don't flatten. We can always come back and save it later, okay? okay? Discard. Yeah, discard. Okay. Away we go. Mm -hmm. One of the things about technology in art is, 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 that fascinates me is that the design abilities of students these days, because they're bombarded with so many visual stimuli, is that they're really open and receptive to change. One student said, I didn't, uh, what was it? I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't teach him to go outside the box. I told him to burn the box down and go from there. My mind's always going, you know? This song used to be a poem. I'm into all kinds of stuff. I'm working on this model here. <laughs> Come back. For some people, it's film. Check out these clips. Give a little wiggle. And pow! Watch for me in the credits. Oh, I always keep a brush handy. Inspiration hits wherever, you know. Can you believe I did this on a napkin? No matter how you say it, it's still A R T. Sally Allstead's years of serving her community through the arts is recognized tonight with the Leadership in the Arts Award for an individual. As cultural arts coordinator for the city of Henderson, Sally's days are filled with a multiplicity of duties, and we first meet up with her visiting the Da Vinci exhibit in downtown Henderson. The kids really love this Chamber of Mirrors. It's one of the favorites in the exhibit. The kids love coming in here. They can shut the door and see themselves 360. And all the way around, it's fun. They just have a ball in here. Plus, there's a little peephole so that other kids can stand outside and look at their friends in 360. We accompany Sally next to the backstage and green room of the Events Plaza Amphitheater. I love doing what I'm doing in Henderson because there seems to be a real feel from the mayor's office all the way down that the arts are an important and integral part of people's lives and that they can be celebrated they should be celebrated. What I like to see the most of is any opportunity that we can bring live arts to the community. We try very hard to work with local artists. Um, we have a wonderful program called Thursday Night Live that uh, every Thursday starting in April and running through October we feature live local artists that can perform on our stage here in downtown Henderson in our Events Plaza Amphitheater. That gives a showcase to artists that maybe don't have a showcase in a, any other way. Uh, we also work quite closely with all of the visual artists in our area. We work with our many, many galleries here in downtown, which is wonderful because many of them then come and display artwork at our Thursday Night Live events. This one's sold. He's going to come get it on Thursday. That's really nice. Getting the Governor's Arts Award is to me a recognition that what I've been doing maybe is on the right track and uh, I hope so. You can't see this as a cultural desert as many people have claimed. We happen to be sitting in a restaurant right now that is the result of some of the new activity that's been taking place in the historic Henderson. Now there's so much new growth taking place. All of that has helped to contribute to
to